Tonight we're down at Harsh San Antonio's most popular bar and we're here with Rob Wilder who is I Am Stereo's resident DJ. How are you? I'm very well, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Good, good. Another Sunday night at Harsh. I know, and it's been, uh, it's been quite... I oh, know, it's the last one tonight, so we're, we're actually mildly excited. Um, so it's better we do this earlier on in the evening rather than later. Um, no, it's been an amazing summer. Um, we're very lucky to be here at Hush. Um, you know, as a lot of people know, it is you know the best place in San Antonio for the workers and you know for holiday makers to come to hear good it's really music. Really nice inside as well. Yeah, really that's that's nice. the thing that sort of makes it different from everything else. You know, further yeah. down the West End. So um, you know, they try and make it a really nice venue. Um, it's free to get in, and the music bonus. policy is bonus, especially the way things are on the island <laughs> at the moment. And you know, it's it's a great great venue. Um, the sound system's amazing. Um, the, the DJ set up, you know, it's all Pioneer, all the latest. Um, everybody wants to come down and play it. So we get a lot of DJs that normally charge a lot of money that come and play on our nights because they know the atmosphere is wicked. They can play the music they really want to play. And they've got, it's like the Starship Enterprise, you know, in front of them. So, um, you know, Hush, yeah, to be fair, is number one in San Antonio. So you, Luke Skywalker? No, I'm all Han Solo. Han Solo. No. <laughs> I think so. I'm the rogue. <laughs> You're leading. Yeah. Lead the pack. Yeah, exactly. You normally get in trouble as well, but hey. And now we're turning to Jimmy Deja. How are you, Jimmy? Hi, I'm very good. Thank you very much. You're the man who makes it musically happen down here at Hush. Yeah, I try to. I look after all the promotions and uh, the general direction of music here in the venue. Yep. Um, we use all kinds of different promoters every night of the week, ranging from I Am Stereo through to closing, closing party tonight. It's going to be a fantastic night. Um, also, we've got Tristan Ingram and his random night. We've got Stylist Recordings doing a night. Uh, we've got the Hush House Mafia, which is a collection of residents. Uh, and lots of other different one-offs that come over throughout the season and do little parties for us. One of the things that I like to get involved in on the island is the technical side of it, the, to, to provide the DJs with the most up-to-date equipment, the sound systems. Um, I'm a key uh, rental dealer of Function One sound systems over here. I deal with all the Pioneer equipment, as you've seen inside the bar. Um, because there's, there's a lot of places that still quite, aren't quite up to date yet, and when some of the DJs come over, they need certain things. So yeah. I obviously look to provide that as a you know, nice little sideline. Anyone you can mention? Um, Who's been playing on your, on your things, on your toys? Uh, this year we did, we did Puff Daddy and Eric Murillo's party um, over in, on the other side of the island. That was a, that was a fantastic four-day affair. Um, and, and they got a chance to use the new CDJ 2000s uh, and some of the other new Pioneer equipment that we took over. Um, we've had all sorts of clients from BBC Radio 1 through to Tiesto and Judge Jules. Uh, you know, everybody rolls along and they, they need something at some point. How, what is the setup in there? It looks phenomenal. Like, you know, what, what did Rob say with the Starship Enterprise? He's hand solo, by the way. So. Okay, fair enough. As long as nobody calls me Chewbacca, that's fine. Come on, Luke. Um, Talk to me. What's going on? Right, there? getting technical. Uh, yes. In there, we've got four CDJ 2000s, yep. uh, which are obviously the latest product from Pi CDJ products from Pioneer. Um, they're actually built on a sliding rail, uh, something that I developed myself and built uh, in 2006 which enables the CDJs to slide in and out of the way. So once you've dealt with the unit, you can move it out of the way and bring the next one in front of you. Um, that was born out of the fact in there we have two mixers. Uh, currently at the moment we have the new DJM 2000s and we also have a DJM 800, which uh, everything is linked in together, which allows DJs to play back to back without interfering with each other's mixer. Uh, we also use the Pioneer EFX 1000 FX unit as well. Uh, there used to be two in there, there's now one because the new DJM 2000 mixer encompasses what the, the old effects unit kind of did for us. Uh, we used to have the Technics turntables in there, but unfortunately all I ever did was put my keys and my cigarettes on there. So they've now gone and they're, I think they're about this much in dust now, somewhere upstairs on the roof. Aww, I need to frame them in emergency <laughs> brake glass. And uh, no laptops allowed. Yeah, no laptops. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of laptop DJs, uh, sort of peering down at the screen, not really interacting. It, it doesn't seem to interact with the crowd. crowd. It, it looks like they're checking their Facebook or their email. Um, and yeah, and the other problem I have from a technical side is the DJs come in and the last DJ's playing and they want to get involved and start plugging I'm wires plugging in. And, and, and the, the, DJ, the DJ before is trying to finish their set. Um, I've been in that situation many times and I hate it. 
Um, I think a DJ should be able to come in, and especially on a setup like that, where you have everything you need. I mean, you don't even need to bring CDs. You can play off the USB pens now. You can play off a hard drive in there. All four players are linked together, so with one hard drive, you've got all your music across four players. There's no, there's simply no need to bring a laptop in, uh, which is why I have the little sign in there saying four CDJ 2000s plus one DJM 2000 equals laptop free zone. We're going to go inside now, and you're just going to show us yeah. a little bit about your setup in there. Yeah, no worries. Because it's go. one of the best. Okay, so we're behind the decks now. I feel like I've got as a DJ. I feel like I'm superstar DJ now. I'm most excited, first of all, about the sliding rail. This is amazing what you put together. I mean, you've got the two over here. So how does it work? You can Basically, put we've got a mixer down here and a mixer here. So the DJ, we can have a DJ down here. We can have the we can have the two DJs playing back to back with each other on their, se their separate mixers, using their separate decks. Uh, they can obviously pass the deck to each other, pass it back. Um, it also means when I'm in the mix and I've dealt with one, I can just move that away and get the other one in front of me, ready to go. And it's great now that when you know when play venues do have the four, you know the four CDJs, that obviously whatever's playing is in red. Yeah, you can see that the uh, the platter is red on this one. That's because the fader is up. The minute uh, the minute the fader moves up on the rest of them, they all start to go red. It's just a great indicator to tell you which deck is live so you don't press stop on the wrong one. When you're playing off USB stick, because you can be playing on a stick from this deck on that player, it can be a bit confusing sometimes to remember where you're actually at. So you know with the red ring, that's not the one you stop. And of course we've got the USB up here. Yep, with the USB stick it links across all four players. Yep. Uh, so I can literally call up tracks from this stick on this player. If I had a stick in here or a hard drive, I could do the same across all of them as well. Have you got a, what's your favourite feature out of the, the 2000? Are there any standout things that you just like, wow, they're really... Uh, I, I think really just the USB capability. It now means with a, a couple of sticks or one stick and a pair of headphones, I can go wherever I need to go and play, provided they've got 2000s. As soon as these become industry standard all over the world and fitted in all the clubs, you know, it will be the way forward. Yeah. And the mixer? The mixer, uh, I think the best the best thing on here is this feature, the slip roll, um, which is a fabulous effect. It, it's just a really nice way of remixing tracks on the fly. Um, the whole effects unit in here is, is fabulous. It's, it's, I'm really glad to see the Pioneer have finally created a mixer that encompasses the whole thing in one unit. I need well, to let Rob come and uh, spin. This track's about to end. Right. Well, thanks for showing it off.